welcome back. It's um, it's me, and we're gonna restore the game, the Peterborough thing, uh, because it's weekend. It's Friday night, and what I like to do on a Friday night is not drinking or going to town anymore, but more like uh, sitting back in the couch and well. Going to Peterborough in my mind, and uh, well, that's not it. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, getting the best possible start to the new season. I already played three of four scheduled friendlies. Why, you might ask? Well, because I like playing friendlies and sort of, I don't know, role playing the whole thing. It's not, uh, for me, it's not about, um, yeah. As you might have surmised, if you watch just any of my videos, it's not about getting quickly done. I'm going through this with no rush whatsoever. And uh, I'm just trying out different things with my new acquisitions, especially. I think I've got a pretty good team this year. Uh, especially because I've had the kind of... Um, What's it called? The, the summer update with the regions and everything. I've had the kind of summer update that I thought I would have last year after the first season in the Premier League because I had expected to be able to just well get all sorts of players unlike the other seasons where our reputation wasn't so good. Um, but Still, there's a very limited availability of, not availability, I mean just a limited amount of Peters available because of the name thing. But this year, I was lucky and I think we struck gold in more than one case. These guys are the ones that, uh, wait a sec, uh, not all of them of course, but uh, from, from where it says um, Peter Clemens. Down here, I paid 2.2 million for him. Uh, I told you guys about uh, Pedro Jr. Uh, that we got back last uh, that for the last bit of the season. He's going to be really good. So just having him as the sweeper instead of Levon, who's 31 and whose attributes I don't really like, um, that's going to make a, a huge difference, I think, even though this guy also has poor tackling and marking. He has a lot of other things going for him. So his stamina might mean that I'm just going to alternate between him and Levon, probably. But um, this guy, I paid 2.2 million for him. I don't know whose regen he is, but I imagine it's someone good because other clubs were interested, not just... Uh, like third division and second division clubs, but other good clubs. Um, and we got him just by offering more, uh, I think, form, I just just 2.2 actually. So I just clicked one up, 2.2 kilos a week, is it? And he's not a new regen. He is a regen, of course, but he's not a new one. As you can tell, uh, he probably still needs some years, but um, I think he looks promising and he's English. And I think it's really important to have some players still that are from the home nation. And then I've got this guy. And I'm expecting big things of him, but of course he's very young. But I did not want to run the risk of someone else getting him first. So yeah, kind of hang, hang on to this guy and then... I don't know, three or four years, he'll probably be amazing. I don't know if I'm going to play this particular save by that time, because, I don't know, there's the new V2 patch. I haven't actually played it yet, because I'm stuck in the Peterborough game. But I would recommend anyone else play it, to play it. I have played it. I mean, I've play-tested it, but not, like, really where I'm getting into it. So, this guy, Peter Kidd, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't like the passing and stuff and dribbling, but he has a lot of other cool stats, uh, specifically off the ball and shooting, of course, that I really like. 
And um, he also has aggression 19. I don't know if that's going to be a problem. He did get a red card like right after I fielded him in, in one of the uh, friendlies. Peter Lightfoot. If you've been following me uh, like religiously on Twitter, which I expect that no one has, um, then you'll remember this guy because I do. He was our uh, main goalkeeper for the, the 1999-00 season and would have been in... Um, I think actually he, he got injured in the other season. 2000 and 2001 where I had to get a backup keeper and alternate I mean uh, give him some of the matches that, that that would be the only explanation other than maybe I got Peter Cech right around that time and then had to sell him to South End but he was a good player and I'm pretty sure that he was also my goalkeeper in, in the first year right I mean right from 1997 and 98 which yeah I think he was because the thing is the, the career history there's no such thing as like a what's it called the, the kind of menu, menu where you um, where you scroll um, there's not a slider like that so um so that the, the seasons before this, the seasons that will not fit on the screen, they just disappear. But I'm pretty sure he was uh, around from, from back when I was in, in Division 3 and was our goalkeeper for years. And then he went off to other pastures, um, probably to get playing time, yeah, after, after Peter Cech arrived. I could check that, of course. Uh, pun not intended but it was a pretty good one yeah 2000 2001 so that coincides with the arrival of a very young Peter Cech and just because I knew that he was rated really good in the database as he should be then I bet on this guy even though he has awful looking attributes so that's um, Peter Lightfoot and just to make sure that I'm actually right about this i'm gonna look at the uh, match awards no top average ratings no i don't know i can't confirm it from here but yeah yeah nope uh anyway the rest of the guys um i don't know if they're as good as the ones that i showed you but they're still interesting so i've got a 20 year old sweeper slash defender center I'm betting that he's as good as a lot of the other options that I have. He looks pretty good, at least, and he's, uh, well, we'll see. And then this guy, uh, this is Michael Madsen, that um, is not a household name or anything, but I, I think he did get a couple of caps, and he got, like, a half-decent career in Serie B. And I think it was Bari. He went to Bari in real life in and when they were one of the elevator teams in, in Serie A and B. And uh, that means, because I recognized him as Michael Madsen, that means that even though he's not like going to be all that great, he's still going to be a really good squad player because he can also play center. And that's important. Um, and then last but not least... This guy, I've I had to check, and he's the regen of um, Dragan Shirich. I don't know how to say it. I do know that I have one viewer who's like from the former Yug Yugoslavia, so he will know how to correct me. Uh, Dragan Shirich, no idea, but the guy that plays for Barcelona, um, played for Barcelona as uh, more like a squad player. Uh, for Barcelona in in um, in the 1997-98 season, um, and I don't know. This is not going to be the best player in the world or anything. But he's a pretty cool addition, and his name is is it is Peter, but it's spelled differently. 
uh, and that's cool because then I have one more version of this name. So lots of Peters ready for a new season. A tactic like this probably or like that. And then, uh, well, depending on, on who plays uh, attacking midfield. And then uh, in a lot of matches, I'm going to drop one of the central, uh, one of the midfield players, the regular midfields into uh, defensive midfield. So just like that change. And for some of the matches, I'm going to try out different positions for the attacking midfielders. But apart from that, um, nothing special. Um, so the last friendly match, I don't know, I'm going to play it, but uh, I'm not going to show you guys because it's sort of boring. It's a friendly and I'm not going to show you like every single match from um, from this season, obviously, because who would want to watch everything? I'm going to show you some interesting stuff when I get to it. And I might make some edits and stuff, but um, I'm not really sure I will, though. Because what I found out in my hiatus from this channel and from uploading these videos is that um, if I sort of make too much of it and I uh, go through the whole process of editing the videos and making sure there's a thumbnail with a title on it and all that stuff, then that just means that I... Um, uh, upload fewer videos in total because I don't know because I like playing the, the games more than editing the videos that's that's why so if you guys want to uh, follow this well I hope you do then just tune in and I'm gonna try to make the videos reasonably short when I play matches it's gonna be longer than this one but this is just sort of a teaser for the new season and I'll be starting off with the Nottingham Forest uh, match at home against Forest. Um, and they are not a bad team. So that'll be interesting. But it's a home match. So I have my hopes high. Especially after beating Barcelona. Um, they got a late red, red card. But really, we I liked uh, the way my team looked in this match. Um, yeah, so this is going to be cool. I really think it is. And, oh yeah, and this guy, actually, I had him all of last season. And I didn't really use him that much. But, and that, but then, but then I removed the, um, unavailable thing. Because I knew, you know, how uh, the German database is sort of weird in, in, well, we're trying to change that with the V2, but it used to be really weird with all these average looking uh, players actually having great ability and potential and they will play well, but they don't look good. Well, I'd hope this was that kind of player, but I had no hopes of it after seeing him last season. But then as soon as I removed the unavailability, clubs like Dortmund showed up at my doorstep. And then I thought, Hmm, this guy, he's going to get one more chance because I'm really in need of good midfielders. That's sort of the, the weak spot on my team at the moment because I've got an amazing goalkeeper. Uh, he, he looks weird as well, but he's amazing. I've got really good defenders. I mean, uh, this guy uh, as the sweeper, Rask as the other one. I think he did well last season. He's going to be better because he's only 24 and not handy side. But uh, where is he? Um, this, uh, well, Levon, 32 years old. Is, he is now from Italy. And then uh, Pelle, Pelle Petersen, Pelle Petersen from, De from Denmark. Um, he's just, well, he's also a young guy, so he's going to improve. But he, he played well last season. And he can play a lot of positions. So I think that looks good. And um, what I what I also have is lots of great midfielders. Like 
this guy, Palinha from Brazil, and first and foremost, Peter Fonerud. And I had to check, and I've waited like several seasons now, but I recently checked, and he is the regen of uh, Per Setterberg, whom you might have heard of. He's really good in the original um, championship managers, 97, 98. A little less good in the V2, but still good. Still one of the best Swedes in the game. So that's great. And up front, I've got... Uh, oh, he's, he's old. That's Renato. I've got Williamson, who's sort of decent, but he's my captain. I'm going to keep him. But this guy is my star player. Pedro Massinho. And I checked him as well. And I do know now whose regen he is. And you might as well, I don't know, um, comment if you do. I'm going to make this a little guessing game, because why not? And then I'm going to be back with the first match. And I'm and I'm and now I'm going to play a friendly. So that's just a, a, a tour of my save game without any, actually playing any games or showing you any action. Sorry about that. And see you for the first match. I'm going to turn this off.